Libra, it's time to take action. It's time to take action. It's time to make a decision. Libra, welcome back. Happy September. I hope that you're well. If you're new, welcome. I am Simone the Moon Goddess. Hit subscribe, turn on your notifications. So I had an August giveaway. So I thought, let's keep it going. I'm going to have a September giveaway. Three winners. Again, you either win one hour, half an hour, or 15 minutes with me. If you are interested in taking part in the giveaway, you must be subscribed, hit like, and drop a comment under this video, and you are entered into September's giveaway. So let's get into it, Libra. Let's get your first message. May all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none. All right, love. So I'm going to start. I have some astrology dice that I'm going to get your themes with. Um, let's see where the messages potentially for you in September. All right. So we have Mars again. Well, Mars came through for Virgo. I just did Virgo. So we have Mars energy. We have the sixth house and we have Aquarius energy. So this could be Mars in Aquarius in the sixth house. This could be Mars in the sixth house. This could be Aquarius Mars. Yeah, I mentioned that. Or Aquarius or Mars. <laughs> I forgot the combinations. So basically it could be sixth house energy, Aquarius energy or Mars energy or any combination of those. All right, so you could be looking to expand yourself, expand your mind, do things different from the way how you've been doing them. Maybe you're coming up with lots of innovative ideas, outside of the box thinking. It could be connected. Is it six? No, sorry. Six or nine. Hold on. It's really annoying. Bottom, bottom. Okay, so nine. It's nine. Sorry, my bad. Three, three, three on my counter. So it's ninth house energy. So ninth house. So Mars in the ninth, Aquarius in the ninth um ninth house energy would be expansion which is interesting considering i just spoke about aquarius being about innovation and thinking outside the box so the ninth could be long distance studies higher learning spiritual philosophy spiritual teachings um expansion of the mind or expansion altogether in life okay and mars would be connected to domination power drive courage um sex passion all of these are themes connected to mars so these are themes that could be coming through for you in september so let's move on my loves let's get your other messages okay what's the messages for libra oh and mars is currently in your sign mars is currently in libra that's interesting so we're looking at Mars, um, sorry, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and any other Libra placements that resonate with you. That was quick. And a very anti-Libra card as well. Or very Libra, whichever way you look at it. Give me one more card for Libra, please. All right. Two more cards. You have the, the Two of Swords. The Magician Reverse and the Fool Reverse. Lord of Mercy. Libra, it's time to take action. It's time to take action. It's time to make a decision. You cannot keep trying to like be on both sides of the scale. You got to go with one side or the other. Start straddle straddling both sides. All right? Take power and take action. In you trying to avoid, you've made a decision. If you're trying to avoid making a decision, you've made a decision. So don't let the power be taken out of your hands. This is literally your card, the Two of Swords. One of your cards. Wow, let's see what's going on with self. And this it's this energy of, no, whatever is being pre presented to you, you don't want either way. So you being like stuck in and stubborn about it. It won't work. Keep the energy moving. Let's see what's going on with yourself. The first card that I saw when I was shuffling, when I cut the deck, the Three of Swords. And it's beautiful because it came out reverse. So you have the Three of Swords reverse and the Six of Pentacles. 
So for self, it's beautiful because there's this healing here and where you've been lacking in some way, I feel as if you're giving yourself this energy now. You're realizing that if you don't give it to you, you can't rely on other people to validate you, to love you, how you need you. It has to start with you. And this is feeling very much Venus retrograde um, or Venus going direct, which is happening today on the 4th uh, with Jupiter going retrograde today as well. But it feels like Venus retrograde might have done you really well you know, where you really stopped and, and checked and understood and saw how worthy you are, how worthy you are, how deserving you are, how valuable you are, and making, making, taking the steps to remove anything in your life that does not reflect you and your worth and your value. And this creating a balance here starting with you and i love it let's see and we've got the devil here at the bottom so lots of shadow work let's see what's going on with your money sorry my mic keeps falling all right so we have let's see the moon and the three of wands so i love this because you can think of the moon as like a money a money planet or luminary really not a planet but the moon and the three of wands. So you might feel a bit nervous about your money, but there's something good coming. All right, you have a lot to look forward to in September. Um, this, is the, this is the harvest month. So it feels like whatever you need to feel secure and feel stable and to feel good and feel a sense of comfort, you, you're now waiting for that to come in. You put in some work and you're now waiting for it to come in. But the thing is, let's go back to the, the middle energy here which is that you could be avoiding making a decision, okay? So you could be waiting for something to come in, but there's a decision to be made. There's more power in this than you are realizing. You have more power, more resources, and more um, control, in a sense, than you might be realizing. So make your decision so that whatever it is you're waiting for can come in. Because it could be depending on you, right? The death card, transformation here, hello? So things might appear more scary but than they are, but for the moon to be in your money um, position, remember with the moon, the moon can, rules money currency, right? Phases, depending on what phase and sign the moon is, it could affect stock markets, all of this. So for the moon to be here shows me the money is there, it's right behind your back, but you gotta make some kind of decision and make it, my loves. All right, let's see what's going on with love. That was quick. All right. <laughs> so you have the hangman and the hermit reverse. There's something you're refusing to see in some way or refusing to accept within your feelings. Are you connected to a Pisces? There's Virgo energy here or Virgo season could be showing you what you need to look at or, or how you need to slow down within relationships. Um, this could also be helping you to be able to make the decision that you need to make so you can move forward but for whatever reason there's still a sense of avoiding yourself so maybe that's why you're stuck in and not being able to to move forward because you it's almost as if you're purposefully disconnecting your heart and your mind and everything needs to flow is like if i don't look at it it doesn't exist well it it, it does it's still there right you could be in a position, you're being forced to be in a position where things slow down so that you can make the right decisions for your highest good, all right? The, all of this is, is divine timing. The Wheel of Fortune, we have the Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom. So part of this is nurturing you, nurturing yourself within this love. If you're dealing with a Virgo, you're kind of dealing with an upside down Virgo, so they could be very much connected to their Piscean energy at the minute and you finding it hard to determine, to figure them out. Um, they're not as, well, it's not that they're not as grounded, it's just that they're connecting, they're, they're loosening up, being a little bit more free and you're like, hmm, what's going on with my Virgo? 
they're living it up. It's their season. They're having a good time and they're connecting to Pisces energy and they're feeling dreamy and floaty and ethereal and all that. You might be like, I don't know who this is. It's interesting because the hangman is Pisces too. I said that without even thinking. What's going on here for love? The Hierophant. So Taurus energy now. Lots of earth energy. So the relationship could be moving into something a lot more committed for those who are thinking about love. If it's business, you could be sending a contract, a lease of some sort. Um, or getting the resources you need to expand higher learning, the higher font. So your relationships could be helping you with that expansion, that ninth house energy. Got a nine of pentacles here at the top. Beautiful. And a two of pentacles. So money on the mind. I feel like this relationship feels very spiritual. Oh yeah, the South Node is in Libra now as well. So big shifts within this energy, within all, with your entire reading, your entire, all of your energy, your entire life, sorry, Libra placements, especially with South Node knowing your sign and the North Node is opposite you in Aries, right? All right, let's move on. Let's get your final message. All right, so you have a king of pentacles, five of wands, and the ace of wands. The five of wands came up for Virgo in this exact position as well. So... Listen, Libra, y'all's money is looking good. Okay, yeah. Your ruler is now moving direct. Now coming out of retrograde. So you could be feeling very much, you could be seeing like wherever money was stagnant, relationships were stagnant, wherever there was stagnant energies connected to Venus, your ruler, now that it's moved direct, you can start to see things picking up. So your money, y'all shrouded in materials, your money, your investments are growing. Um, you feel, your energy feels, y'all feel bouncy. And this could be too because y'all moving into y'all season soon in a couple weeks. So there's this sense of feeling renewed, feeling inspired, feeling refreshed. Again, Venus going direct. Um, and also connecting to the inner child. There's this lightness. So really connect to your sense of adventure and take power take your power back so that you can start you know moving into whatever it is that's calling you all right nine nine of pentacles vibes hello the money you know enjoying luxury work hard play harder the high priestess beautiful and the six of wands yep celebration congratulations you've been accepted you've been promoted you've been approved all of that but step out your own way let's look at your love and see what else is coming through here tell me for libra i'm using these new love oracle that love oracle cards that i just got well, actually not just got, I've had them for about a month or so. What's some other messages for Virgo when it comes to relationships? What's going on with Virgo for relationships, spirit guides? I was just about to say if a card doesn't come out, I'm not going to use this deck because I have another one here. That might be more suited. Okay, so you have passion. In instant chemistry, like each other equally, having fun and mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Okay, passion and mask. So when I say the, the hermit card, 
you know again your person might be a little bit like oh i can't pin down like what's going on if you're dealing with a virgo oh i can't pin down virgo right now or whoever you're thinking about i can't pin them down i can't quite figure out where if they're coming or going um like what's going on i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting want to date lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval transformation okay and healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction three of swords reverse 100 percent. three of swords reverse beautiful got heart with a key and paradise all right Let's see what your person has, if your person, not if, what other messages come through. Either you think about your person this way or your person is thinking about you this way. As if you're thinking about romance. If you connect it to a person. It's a message for Libra. All right. So to, okay. Whenever I see flowers, I think of you. All right, so whether you think of the person that way or they think of you that way, whenever I see flowers, I think of you. When I look into your eyes, the whole world stops and I forget where I am. I love our deep conversations. They open up my mind. Thank you for, sh for teaching me how to appreciate the small things in life. That's beautiful. I love that I can be myself around you. I love you. Oh, that's cute. All right, give me some more messages for Libra. The September 2023 spirit, guys. Was, thank you very much. Romance. I mean... <laughs> Alrighty then, romance is your main guard. So September seems to be a loved up month for y'all or at least a renewal of love here. Remain positive, forgiveness, wow. Okay, and recovery. Let's keep this ball rolling. This card is busy. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. This message being driven in. So Venus gone direct and Venus has a message for everybody because it came through for Virgo. And I did, um, I had readings for my sacred circle group on Patreon and this card came out as well. And that was yesterday's reading, live reading I did. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. So that would be you Libra. Your commitment is being tested. That's a first quarter moon and a time for healing, balsamic moon. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries, opposite you, your opposite sign, and emotions are running high, super moon. A fiery climax approaches. We've got Mars energy here. Mars rules Aries and Scorpio. All right, so I'm going to wrap up with an animal spirit card that's a message for my Libras for September thank you very much you see clearly now okay all spirit you see clearly now so this hangman energy this slow down energy that is allowing you to take time to make decisions feel like your relationships are, are a big part of all of your re reading i mean romance came out right so if you are not in a romantic connection it could be another type of relationship but it feels like it's a big part of everything else falling into place you see clearly now one bat spirit be at home so be at home is that within you because your hermit card is reversed so being at home within you connecting to your inner self 
doing the inner work. Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. And beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Co-create with spirit, crow spirit, co-create with spirit, and koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. All right, Libra, that's your message for September. I hope these messages support. Get involved in the giveaway. Drop a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will announce September's winners at the end of September or first week of October. Um, good luck. Good luck. And thank you for watching. Be well, my loves. Enjoy September. Bye.